Charles Kelly discusses how he nearly lost his marriage due to his struggles with alcohol abuse. On CBS Mornings, Kelly and Cassie discussed Kelly's sobriety journey, and they revealed that a trip to Greece marked a turning point in his recovery. During vacation, Kelly and Cassie got into an argument and he turned to alcohol. I just turned my phone off in the middle of nowhere and just took off and stayed up drinking with all these random people I didn't know, he said. We had gotten in an argument, and I had one of those moments where I just was like, I'm so sick of being told what to do. The star said that he awoke the next morning at 7 a.m. and called his wife, who had not slept after Kelly disappeared. The aftermath of the night was eventually what led Kelly to a month-long stay in a rehab facility, as Cassie, with whom Kelly shares seven-year-old son Ward, said she had plans to meet with the divorce lawyer. It remains unclear when the vacation took place, but Cassie posted a picture of the couple in Mykonos to Instagram last June. The next morning I said, you need help, you have to deal with this, she said on CBS Mornings. And he said he knew, and he made a plan with his manager and he flew directly from Greece to treatment. But at that point, I fully thought I was flying back to the US. I was gonna meet with a divorce attorney, like, that was it. Kelly and Lady A announced in August that Kelly had embarked on a journey to sobriety, and the group subsequently postponed a number of tour dates. In the months since, he has chronicled his journey both on social media and in the lyrics of the song As Far As You Could, which he released in November. Cassie has also expressed her support for Kelly on social media. She explained to CBS Mornings that alcoholism is a family disease and that she's had to put in just as much work as Kelly has during his recovery. When he was in rehab and I went out there for family week, one of the first messages you receive is, you're gonna have to do just as much work here. And I remember being so mad, she said, like you did this, and now I have to do all of this work too, but it affects every person in that family system. So I could have chosen not to do the work, but then I have to live with the way that I've been affected and unhealed. So whether Charles and I were in a marriage or not, whether I saw him again for the rest of my life, I still had to deal with what I had gone through. Gail King asked her why she decided to stay with Kelly, whom she married in 2009, and she cited their family unit. She later grew emotional as she told King that she was really proud of Kelly, who held his wife's hand and said he was proud of her too. He also added that he can't really say I'm sorry enough to both Cassie and his bandmates Hilary Scott and Dave Haywood. It's not easy to walk through and it's not easy to stay connected and just put your head down and do the work, because it is a lot of work. Cassie said, and because he keeps showing up every day, I get to keep showing up every day and our family gets to be intact, so I'm really, really proud of him. Kelly said he couldn't do it without her support as the pair shared a kiss. Cassie celebrated Kelly's six-month sobriety in January with an Instagram video in which she said she was happy Kelly had been able to enjoy a vacation without alcohol as part of his recovery. Harbor Island in the Bahamas was the place where they rang in the new year, she said.